I have worked at Providence Sacred Heart for my entire career of 22 years. So what brought me to Providence was that coming out of school, they offered me a full-time job. And I started out 3 to 11 on evening shift, best nine months of my life. I'm a surgical tech. I work here for coming up on a year now. I was really excited by the thought that I'll get to do and see things that most people won't get to do or see. I decided after I got out of the military to come and go to school and come back here. I've been here for two years. I started my first year down in sterile processing and then I finished up school and I came upstairs working as a surgical technologist in orthopedics. I come in every morning, I do my morning scrub, and then I find my assignment. When I'm assigned in a case, I just make sure that we have everything that we need. Instruments, case cart, all of the above. Taking our knowledge of what the doctor normally does and comparing them with the PPL. Physician's preference list, it's our little cheat sheet, so that way we kind of have an idea of what we might need. Gathering instruments in different sets, setting aside anything we probably don't need. We have to count instruments and sponges and all that. Opening, maintaining a sterile field for the patients and the surgeons, it's making sure we have the proper irrigation, labeling the drugs that are dispensed to the field. Being the right hand of the surgeon, I get to make sure that they have what they need, I pass the instruments, and I'm there for our patients, being that they're asleep and they don't have a voice for themselves, so helping be that voice for the patient and helping the surgeon take care of that patient to the best of our ability. Teamwork is essential. There is not a role in that OR that can't happen without the other. My team members are great. Everybody works all together. There's not one person that does more than the other. Everybody has a role and a job. And I like that because you have to function as a team. And playing sports growing up, it's kind of like the same aspect. When I'm at the field, it's game time. We all have our individual jobs, but all of our jobs kind of overlap. I rely on my nurses, my nurses rely on me, my doctors rely on me. You know, they're keeping their mind on the important things and it's kind of my job to kind of think of some of the underlying things that we might need or, you know, prepare for worst case scenario. The more teamwork we have in the OR, the more cohesive an experience it is for everyone involved in the surgery from the nurses, the doctors, the techs, and the patient will have a better outcome because of it. You have supporting team members through your entire educational process and the starting and, the, and continuation of your career. There's always somebody there to help support you, educate you, and answer questions. You don't learn it all in a day. Everything comes with time and practice. You're not alone. Take it one day at a time. It can be stressful, but um, at the end of the day, it's super rewarding. Also having people in the hospital who kind of understand what you're going through is a great release for me. You know, some of my best friends work here as well. So being able to, you know, after the case, kind of just unload and kind of decompress a little bit and having someone there who's like, I get it, that happened to me last week. It helps a lot. I knew that Providence was one of the best hospitals. We do everything here. You know, I'll be scrubbing in on a total one day and then the next day, you know, we'll be doing a skin graft and flaps. Micro preemie baby surgery all the way up to our elderly patients and everything in between from head to toe, everything that you could imagine. The experience that I'll get here will translate to, to anything that I want to do in the future. Be interested. I think if you walk in, and you really just show that you're interested and you're there to help in whatever way possible, I, I, think, I think you would do just fine in this field.